Hey people, today is October the 10th, 2022. And the time is 1.16 p.m. The temperature is currently 10 degrees Celsius. Today we're going to be walking east along Danforth Avenue through the Danforth Village to, I don't know where, Ken, maybe you could add where we're going to? Possibly Scarborough? We might possibly go as far as Victoria Park Avenue. We'll see how long the walk takes. If it, it'll for sure be over 30 minutes long, perhaps 45. And it's rather cold out as Action Kid mentioned. <laughs> so if we feel like walking for that long, maybe we'll make it to Scarborough. Mm -hmm. So in any case, we're gonna start heading down to the Danforth, which is just right down the street here and making our way eastward. And this is walk three of three. Yeah, we just completed a walk with Action Kid through Greek Town and some of Danforth Avenue east of Greek Town. And before that, we walked with uh, Johnny leading the way from Young and Bloor over the Bloor Viaduct, ending at Broadview Avenue. And this is Action Kid's first time in the east end of Toronto. Yeah, I have a very good impression of it so far a bit more mom and pop neighborhood kind of feel. A little bit more grit. Yeah, especially this area we're gonna be walking through in the far eastern Danforth, it's definitely a little more gritty than the more popular areas to the east. This is where Ryerson or TMU students are made from, made of grit. <laughs> made of grit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their new slogan. <laughs> And there are a couple of areas up ahead that do have a designation, but they're not officially recognized by the city, such as Little Bangladesh, which is further east towards Victoria Park Avenue. And we're right in the heart of Little Ethiopia, yeah. I think. So you're seeing Viva America? Something in America. Something about America. <laughs> could be good, could be bad. Probably not neutral. Hey, there's a homeopathy store. Oh yeah, Riverdale. Oh, Riverdale. Is this still officially a Riverdale? I don't think so. I, I don't know. I do know that they have unbelievably good hamburgers. Oh yes. Oh, Rudy's. Johnny's a big fan of Rudy. There's a shisha lounge. A certain and number of these. I have products from this very store in my apartment. I think I've heard you mention this place before. Yeah, this is kind of a, I don't really want to say up and coming, but trendy little part of Danforth right along here on the left. And I think we are in East York now, perhaps. Well, the border of East York does dip down below Danforth <laughs> Avenue at one point. The sign might have something to do with that. The East York Housing Help Center. East York is one of the six boroughs of Toronto. And over here it says the Danny. You see how it says Danforth Mosaic BIA? BIA means business improvement area. So all these businesses are part of that association who represents their interests. They do things like organize the street furniture or art festivals, that sort of thing. It's a busy coffee shop. I was it's been at, a while. I was at this bar the other week. Oh, were you? Sauce, waiting for my table at the restaurant next to it. I've never been to almost any of these places. And this place too, the Wood Owl, is quite good. Hmm. I was just going to say, it's been a while since I've walked east along the Danforth. Usually when I do videos, I walk west towards downtown. How long ago were you here? Last time? It's been a couple of months. You've live streamed along here recently, haven't you? Not this far down. No. That was more on the Greek town area. Well, here is Monarch Park, just to the south of here. That's a really big park. 
that's pretty cool. Isn't there a high school also called Monarch Park? I believe so. And just south of there is Little India. And another Ethiopian restaurant. We started seeing those appear at the end of Action Kids video before this. I see Little Ethiopia even continues a little bit further. Yep. Friendship Lounge. Interesting. There's a French bakery over there. Yeah, it seems a little bit out of place. Looks pretty nice, though. Oh, this is the place you were talking about earlier, Mom's Basement. Yeah, it's a really cool, like, 80s, early 90s theme bar. Super friendly people working there. They've got, like, Super Nintendo and stuff like that set up. If I were a crafty business owner, you get this place and you call it Dad's Attic. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like with Mocha Joe's right next door to Latte Larry's. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spite store. Yeah, I opened it out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a hookah lounge. I thought problem. that was, like, not allowed in Toronto. They're all over the place. There's, they can't be illegal. The but hookah lounges? Due yeah. to the indoor no smoking, smoking laws. Oh, wow. Apparently, yeah, that's what I've seen here. Yeah. Authentic Ethiopian and vegan. Apparently they can't get around that law, even if it is, like, shisha. But Yeah, because it's yeah. part of their culture, the hookah. Yeah. It's also pretty good if you get like a flavored one. I quite like it. So I'm currently sitting at just over 11,000 steps. Nice. So we've been pretty efficient with our steps in video recording. Yeah, about the same. I think I'll probably end the day at at least 20,000, maybe 25,000. Bear Market. And this end can be a little less busy than the more popular areas to the east. I found it's always on the quiet side. Yeah. That's one thing when I watch AK's New York videos, it always seems like there's people. That's true. Here it kind of feels like there's people too, but it's very muted for like a neighborhood of this kind of like stature in New York. Again, it really comes down to the zoning. It's mostly low density housing, north and south of Danforth. Like in Montreal, everything are, are these like mid-rise blocks. So you have a much more critical mass of people in neighborhoods like this. But here we've got such outdated zoning laws and the NIMBYs fight any development with their pitchforks, so areas like this never really intensify. But that's a double-edged sword, because if it did, a lot of these mom and pa businesses wouldn't be able to afford the rents, and they'd yeah. be driven out. And they'd be replaced by soulless corporate entities, like PTO, EO, right? <laughs> <laughs> However you pronounce it, yeah. Hey, they might, they might get a dry cleaners and a Subway sandwiches. Right next to their Rexall and Scotiabank. Coming up to Coxwell Avenue, there's a neat little retail strip at the northern end of Coxwell. Oh, there is, too. I didn't even know about it. Like, old, huh. was it like Old East York or something is the name of the neighborhood? And here's something Action Kid's never seen, I bet. Five-pin bowling. Oh, yeah. I've never seen this before. So it's easier to put, to knock down all the pins, huh? No. There's, not. there's a lot less pins. <laughs> oh, no. It's just different. And what is this, the Double D store? 
It's all it can't be what I'm thinking. It's a all pharmacy, right. it looks like. CC's Bar and Grill. So this is Coxwell. If you went south here, right at Girard, you'd be entering Little India. And you can take that all the way to little to East Chinatown. The neighborhood in between those is pretty cool too. Right yeah. around Gerard Square. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It doesn't really get much hype or anything. Stick south down Coxwell. You don't really see too many banks in this area along Danforth. This is the first one I've seen in a while. Alterna Savings? No, here, oh. CIBC. Well, I guess over there too, but. That's not really a mainstream bank though. This used to be a streetcar line before the subway, and there's an old transit house right there. And is this where the bus station diner used to be? Now it's an A&W, right? I think so. I remember this place before the A&W. Because it's in an old Art Deco building that used to be used as a bus station. I don't hate that it's turned into a burger joint. But hmm. there's the subway station. How accessible does that look? Oh. <laughs> How many A and W's have we seen so far? A lot. <laughs> At least four, I think. Yeah, yeah. But would you have guessed that there's a subway line on Danforth if you didn't know all the stops were like? No, just I would walking? never know. You don't see any signs like subway. They don't direct anybody. Say, hey, subway to the left or whatever. I think that's something the TCC could do better. Put something on the street. Say, hey, this <laughs> station's here or whatever. And then the one on Greenwood was really bad. You don't even know it's there until like, you're looking for Greenwood Station, it's not on Greenwood, right? It's really only a problem if you're a tourist or new to the area. <laughs> well, even in downtown, sometimes the TTC stations can be hard to find too. Like in Wellesley on, and Young, oh, that's not even on Young. You have to go on the side. Yeah, that one is yeah. east of the street. But that one has a second entrance now. Oh. Uh, and Dundonald. Retro burger. What are these V's that keep appearing here? This is some <laughs> sort of. I, I see this a lot, like these. Like, this letters. is about the fourth or fifth one we've passed. It's the Illuminati. Trying to tell I saw us an something. F before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Bioped foot care. Hey, here's a TD. You know what the T stands for, right? Toronto. Someone in one of your live streams was like, oh, they have TD Bank there too? I saw, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's like, yeah. They yeah. deliberately do not mention that it's Toronto when they're in the States. Like the Boston Celtics play in like the TD Garden. They would hate to know that. Like that's Toronto's biggest hockey rival, right? Like, <laughs> after Montreal, maybe. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's not far from where I am. Because, Look at this uh, nice wide sidewalk and just no greenery. This, I feel, could be a little better on the streetscape. Yeah, yeah. this is a little Pretty looking hey, this here. one's for sale or lease. I don't necessarily want to sell it. <laughs> I just want something. Give me money. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of places that are like kind of abandoned or for sale here along Danforth. Yeah, this is the end of the street that's a little worse for wear. But it picks up again once you get around Main Street. And if you go south at Main Street, you go through a really cool area down into the upper beaches. Mr. Mow-it-all, that's clever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mr. Plow from The Simpsons. I was more of a Plow King guy. 
Here's a W now. <laughs> Look at that store. Which one? <laughs> oh. Broad lingerie? <laughs> what? For fuller busts. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I won't be shopping there. <laughs> Maybe it's related to Double D back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or D&D &D Dental. <laughs> this is a neat little apartment building thing here. It's weird <laughs> how that would have came to yeah. be. Like, just to build something so obviously residential only on this strip. What happened to this apartment on the top floor? There's a <laughs> crack in the window, the bike's hanging from the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, but it definitely looks like it's not in the best shape. That could have been your Airbnb. <laughs> and look at this thing. <laughs> Another unusual thing to find right smack on Danforth Avenue. They clearly gave up on the old having a window thing. Yeah. This is weird. Is this... 1770? Garage is that, it's not a garage, I guess it's just blocking this It empty. says 1770 yeah. oh, over that's, here. So maybe it's, that's the year it was built. No, that's built. the building number. Oh. Well, it's an actual apartment. You can see all the units. The Kung Fu Hall. Gelato on the Danny. So I guess we're still in the part of the street that's called the Danny. Feels like it's picking up again. Yeah, it's looking a little nicer. Kind of strange how that is. It's like a whole stretch of like abandoned places <laughs> and now it picks up again. Well, we deliberately gave you the best part of <laughs> the walk for your video. I just wanted to walk through Blur Street. I mean, we were coming to Greektown anyways. I thought that was a good route. It was. Happy Days Restaurant. And the Pawn Shop. This is the first one I've seen. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> and there's a tire. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you pawn a tire? <laughs> Why tire would you buy a guitar? tire from a pawn shop? <laughs> so many questions. <laughs> That's when you start to think a business is just a front. <laughs> <laughs> Little robot friends? What's That's this cool. all about? It's like a day camp for kids. Oh, okay. And there's a little robot friend right in the window. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Moroccan restaurant. Ooh. No, it's a... Treasure. Moroccan treasures from North Africa. Kind of neglecting the other side of the street. It's an old looking. Uh, That's uh, cool, a cinema shop. Lucky Mark. Yeah, look at the store beside it. You can get the Hollywood film books. Canteen. That's cool. Film posters or movie posters. That's neat. Prince of Wales, you don't have to change the name of this restaurant or shop, market, <laughs> whatever, grocery market. Land. Hey, they spelled center wrong. Oh, they, oh, spelled, they spelled it the, it the American way. way. Yeah. The incorrect way. So if you need to use the facility, what word do you say? Where is the restroom? You're not Canadianized yet? <laughs> I know. It's I, I use bathroom and washroom interchangeably. I use bathroom in like a home, washroom in a business or outside. Yeah. I never say restroom though. Very I tend to say restroom when I travel because I don't want to say bathroom. In, in Asia, a lot of times they just say toilet. Yeah, like they'll just be right. a sign that says toilet. And you're like, where's the toilet? <laughs> It's very direct. Our work, we kind of tiptoe around the subject yeah, matter. I know. Bathroom? You're not going in there to the <laughs> washroom. I guess you wash in there. Yeah. If you but should, anyway. But yeah. in Korea, it's just like toilet over there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, they have their own word for it, hajang shield, but in English, they just write toilet. It's so universal. Like, X marks the spot. Yep. Toilet, washroom, restroom, bathroom. This is the kind of conversation you get on your video, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> <We'll be running. laughs> Talking about toilets. <laughs> hey, bone shaker. People have mixed feelings on that beer, but I quite like it. In homes, if there's a toilet and a sink, we just call it half a bathroom. Yeah, we do too. Okay. <laughs> like a real estate listing would say really? one and a half bath. Yeah. It's a hobby shop. When I was a kid, I would spend hours oh, just wow. looking through hobby shops. I couldn't get enough of them. Did you have big, like, Starship Enterprises hanging from your ceiling that you built? Uh, well, almost. I had the, <laughs> the space shuttle, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was really into building model cars. Did you paint them as well after? Sometimes, yeah. Usually I was too excited to put it together to take the time to properly paint it and do it all nice. You, you, know? you gotta paint it and like <laughs> cure it. And, like... I know. <laughs> I just wanted to put it together as quickly as possible. Uh. <laughs> it works. Yeah. So here's a question between the three of us, who had a walking channel first? Uh, I, think, I think he did. Yeah. yeah, probably me. And then me, and then you. Yeah. Who, had a, who had a gimbal the last? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think of something where I didn't come in last. Yeah. Handcrafted chocolate, Mary's Brigadero. Although on my secondary channel, Ken Continues, I do have a walking video on there from 2014. Oh yeah, you it's, do. It's wow. from the, it's filmed vertically with an iPhone, so it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> if it's vertical, can't really count. Another thing we can blame millennials for. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for this useless <laughs> way to watch videos. And it's only like, four or five minutes long. Troy never understood. You can hold the camera like this and they could still make the video go like the normal way. Oh yeah. Right? Like why not just put an option so you can click a button and it'll rotate the camera. <laughs> like these are 4K lenses. They can easily still do that. Because everyone's excuse for like why their video is vertical. They're just like, oh, it's easier to hold it that the way. The store is right. operated by sovereign people on sovereign land. Yeah, so it's not a properly licensed cannabis shop. Oh. And the police are just going to shrug their shoulders and not even want to get involved in that. So anyone from that claims like Mississauga heritage can just say it's sovereign land and we're going <laughs> to operate a cannabis store here? I don't even know if that's legally correct, but it works. Okay. I have to show all of these letters now because I don't know what they're oh, for. Yeah. <laughs> Just weird. And look, it's a mid rise condo development way here on the far eastern end oh, of the Oh, yeah. That's so strange. It's got a bit of a step back, too, after four stories. I think that's how Queen Street is zoned. Yeah, I've seen that a lot on Queen Street, especially with the newer ones. It's not like New York City where you need to like buy the air rights off of your neighboring buildings. Mm -hmm. Here I think they just say it has to be set back. Like all those towers on Billionaire's Row, they bought up all the buildings around them, right? Just so they could stack the, the air rights. Mm -hmm. Ken's a skyscraper fan. Are you Action Kid? I am. I like seeing big skyscrapers. Well, I think you're in the third best city in North America for that. Soon to be the second. I said best, <laughs> not most. I think Chicago's got us in terms of like the quality of their skyscrapers. I think the older ones, yeah, but I don't think the newer skyscrapers Chicago's building are any better than our newer skyscrapers. No, but they have dozens of like Art older Deco ones. gems. Yeah, they they have. It's the, it's the birthplace of the skyscraper. Well, Miami's about to get some brand new skyscrapers. 
Yeah, I watched your video of the site of the future tallest building mm -hmm. in Miami. Yeah. Yeah. How tall will that be? Plaza. I think uh, 1,090 feet tall. We got to hit that 1,000. Yeah. For some reason, a lot of our buildings proposed are like 299. Like they come just under it. One meter short. No, <laughs> I don't know why they do that. It's like just build a little crappy spire on top just to hit that. Yeah. Like Concord Sky at Young and Girard will be 299 meters. It's like, come on, can't you just bump it up to 300? Like. This is, maybe this may be related to the letters. Maybe. I'm thinking 299 might be to appease the NIMBYs. Oh my God, <laughs> they're building a super tall. Yeah. Let's never let that happen. Developers like, oh, hmm. Z, you know, looking Z, at it, right? from the street, you can't tell the difference between 299 and 300. What is that? No. Ew. Ew. Yeah. We just saw, oh, there's more here. Oh, there's more here. Yeah. Watch All out. Right. Have some unpleasant stuff on the sidewalks that you don't want to step on. <laughs> it looks like that one was frozen. Are you feeling like you got the short end of the stick of these three walking videos? <laughs> I'm rather enjoying this. This, this, is, this is interesting. It's, it's like very a, gritty. It's I little, like it. It's got a bit of a walking podcast element to it. It has a bit of an outer borough New York vibe to That's it a right, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I took a bus from LaGuardia and we got off somewhere to, to transfer to a subway station. And it was similar to this. The only difference was, like, it was an elevated subway, so you had that. Mm -hmm. But the actual built environment was pretty similar. See, there's the value mart I was talking about earlier. I've well, never been a TTC station to there. a value mart ever. Yeah, this is Woodbine. You could go south here and find yourself in the beaches neighborhood. And it's downhill the whole way. Oh, it's an easy bike ride. And north, that'll take you up to O'Connor. I think that's the edge of O'Connor, right? Yeah. Sandy's Restaurant Canadian and Chinese Cuisine. Interesting. What is a Canadian cuisine? Uh, same thing as an American cuisine. There's a, you don't see a lot of these signs in this area. Yeah, it's on the and notice of, the step back as well. I'm gonna take away the value mart. <laughs> 15 stories. Oh, it says grocery store. Okay. The, okay. You know that Loblaws on Broadview is set to be redeveloped. Yeah, those buildings look nice. They do. Yeah. I'm a fan. Eddie's Place, Bar and Cafe. There's Value Village across the street. That's like a thrift store. They have great Halloween stuff there, and they're really advertising it big time here. Hey, it's Brad Bradford, Beaches, East York. That's a pretty big area. Brad Bradford. Are you voting for Gill in this upcoming election? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if I even vote. <laughs> It's getting cold now. They people have to put the little coats on their dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty soon the dogs will have those little boots on their feet. I feel like this is an underappreciated part of town. Like a lot of people that grew up and live in Toronto probably have no idea this is here. Oh yeah. Or what's here. A lot of people who live in the West End literally never come to the East End at all, you know? They just, this is like unknown territory to them. So I was reading a Reddit thread on the Toronto subreddit. Some people were saying, I haven't been to the East End in like 10 years and things like that. I like it. It's not homogenous. It doesn't feel like anywhere else. It feels like its own thing. Yeah. It looks so different than the Plus of Toronto I've seen so far. Even Midtown, it doesn't have this character anymore. Yeah, I like it too. 
you can get it in It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Mount Pleasant Village. I, w I would say the demographic swings quite different, but the actual built environment is kind of similar. Yeah. All your wool needs here. <laughs> Do you have these little libraries in New York? Like this the, is yeah. a cute little take a boat, leave these. a boat kind of thing. Church here, the Danforth Mennonite Church. Yeah. There's a Budapest and Hungarian restaurant. Another hobby shop for you, oh, Ken. Wow. John's trains, toys, and hobbies. <laughs> This must be the hobby district. <laughs> oh, that's an old, uh, like, steam thing for the boats. It's pretty neat. Another new condo building on the corner. Oh, yeah. The rusty nail pub. Three beers for twelve dollars. Party store. We're gonna see a lot of pop-ups showing up now that Halloween is right around the corner. This is an auto garage. So Main Street's the next major station, isn't it? Or is there one more between here and there? I think it's Main Street. Are those tall residential buildings? Yeah, that's Main Street. That's probably why they chose to build this building here. Yeah. What's the runtime on the video so far? We're at 32 minutes. By the time we get to Main Street, we'll probably do like 40 something. Yeah, that'll be about in line with the other two videos. Yeah. Don't really see too many car dealerships around here. There used to be some like right downtown, like there was Front Street, uh, there was Toyota on Front Street. gas station. Gas stations are a dying breed downtown. Yeah, I did a video yeah. of the last gas stations left in downtown Toronto. <laughs> They're mostly on the east side, right? There's, I think, a four on the east side and another four on the west side. There's one on Spadina I can think of. There's the Esso, the tiny Esso in Herbert Village. It almost looks yeah, comical. I counted that one, yeah. <laughs> that one's a newer one, apparently. Yeah, it's not like there's a bike lane right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, how ridiculous is that? Why is that, that? guy's riding his scooter here? <laughs> there's a bike lane right there. <laughs> it drives me bananas when people do shit like that. Like, if you ask him, he'll probably say, I don't feel safe on the road. Then don't make that the pedestrian's problem. Yeah. Because you don't feel safe there. Like, if a car doesn't feel safe, he doesn't just drive on the sidewalk. <laughs> You know? I guess some new retail spaces will go on the bottom of this new development. It looks brand new. Yeah. Last time I walked past here, it was still under construction. Hopefully we get some interesting retail. But you can never replace this kind of street front with... There's another guy. Why are you on the sidewalk? There's like a bike lane right there. <laughs> Although... I was on the construction, that's why. Let's see if they've... Yeah. But that's still not an excuse. You just go in traffic and take the lane. Pizza by the slice. Mm. People have been wanting me to try north of Brooklyn. New York, New York style pizza right there, it says. Oh. Yeah, north of Brooklyn's pretty good. Yeah. Supposedly north of Brooklyn's the best slice in Toronto. Yeah, someone posted something on my... 
video. There's thing. one at Geary and Dufferin. I think there's one on Church, right in the village. Yeah. Can you think of any others? I know, oh, there's one in, uh, up on Weston, or is it Rogers Road? Up that way, I've seen one. Do we approach pizza away or something? Now there's a golden pizza here. <laughs> Fusion kitchen. Looks pretty good. Another new condo. Yeah, what is this? Now all these condos are coming here. Would you say this part of Toronto is a little bit more affordable to live in than, say, Midtown or? Oh, for sure. You can probably get a larger condo here for what you'd pay somewhere else. And you still have access to the subway. And a car wash. And a car wash. <laughs> well, I can hear the police over there. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to be building some new towers in amongst these older towers here. They're going to be a lot taller than the existing buildings. You often find developers are going where there's already like approval for that kind of... Mm -hmm. Like around High Park, you've got all these low homes, but wherever there's an apartment building, they're squeezing condos right next to it. Yeah, like that cluster of apartment buildings across from High Park. Yeah. They squeezed in a bunch of new ones in there, yeah. Because those are zoned high, everything else is like low yeah. density. It, just make it medium density. A block north and a block south of like Bloor Street, that should not be single family homes. Especially in a city with a housing crisis. Yeah. And when people say new condos are unaffordable, the counterpoint to that is you need new buildings today to become tomorrow's affordable housing stuff. Like all of our affordable rental buildings are older apartment buildings from the 60s and 70s. But when they were built new, they were expensive. So if we're not building lots of new stuff now, even if you disagree with overpriced condos, that's what becomes affordable 30, 40 years from now. Young's e-bikes. I think uh, huh. Oh The Urbanity, the YouTube channel, did a whole video on that. Oh yeah, yeah, I watched their stuff. No, we must preserve this exactly as it is. Here's a Zobie's grocery store. That's kind of an upscale grocery store. Hmm. This is the first time I've seen this grocery store chain. Yeah, they're not as plentiful around the city. There's one on DuPont. I can think of just west of Christie. I've seen Lob Laws a lot and also Metro. Yeah, those are the two you see most of all. If and we keep no going, frills. I was gonna say, if we keep going east, you're gonna see a lot of this, like little furniture shops. A little furniture stores. here in Victoria Park. Fly for less travels. And that's something that trips up a lot of people too. Metro is a grocery store, not a <laughs> subway. Yeah, <laughs> I had to point that out in our video together, yeah. <laughs> Well, a lot of people call our streetcars trams, and people from Toronto will be correcting them. No, yeah. that's a streetcar. <laughs> well, really, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah. It's kind of like how it's a hurricane here, but in Asia, it's a typhoon. Like, it's the same weather event. We just call it something else, yeah. right? And I think in another hemisphere, they call it cyclone. Yeah. Yeah. In Montreal, they say Metro, though, don't they? Yep. Yeah, I can see how that's confusing. <laughs> I, don't know. I like Metro. It's like the perfect balance of affordable. They have everything. Yeah, I like it, too. It's a good supermarket. Chain. Just, just don't ask for the Metro when you're asking for uh, directions. <laughs> hey, do you know where the Metro is? Yeah, over there. <laughs> He's be sending him to a grocery store, not the subway. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm really disappointed about this Ken for on this walk? He's not carrying a plastic bag in his hand. Where's it's your in, It's in my back pocket. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be putting it to use afterwards. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. 
<laughs> this patented plastic bag. That's right. <laughs> I've seen you recording, like holding a plastic. I hate backpacks. I don't know why, man. Backpacks just. I feel like my back gets all sweaty and like, I'm just not a fan of yeah. it. But you'd rather tie up one arm? <laughs> I'd rather have a, a, a bag in the hand. What happens if a dingus yeah. attacks you and you've got a plastic well, Then bag. I can swing the bag at them. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with my heavy stuff inside of it, bam, there you go. Just a bag with a cannonball in it. Dingus repellent. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had any dingus encounters in Toronto so far? I had someone give me the finger. I saw that yeah. on College Street, yeah. Yeah. I had someone do that to me on the exact same part of College Street. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was the same guy. You also yeah. had someone on a bike knock your phone off yeah. your gimbal. Yeah, yeah, a guy oh my rode by on a bike and smacked my phone right out of the gimbal when I was live streaming. Wow. The phone flew into the street. Yeah. Well, we are at Maine and Danforth. There's a, well, actually, this is the last subway stop really on the Danforth because Victoria Park's a bit north. Well, we're at the 40 minute mark, 41 minutes actually. Maybe we could Wrap draw things up. to an end here at Danforth and Main Street. By Main Square, Premium yeah. Rentals in Danforth Village. <laughs> so yeah, I think we will wrap things up here. I hope you enjoyed the walk starting from Greenwood Subway Station. Is that where we began? Linsmore, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With Action Kid and Mr. Johnny Strides. I'm glad to have them accompanying me on the third part of this multi Ultra collab. Hey, Toronto's Walking Man is coming. How appropriate is this? Oh, okay, let's get a look at Toronto's Walking Man. This guy oh, is wow. seen walking all over the city. He must yeah. put in more steps than you, Action Kid. Oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are this the odds of this? funny. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So that's a V. He, he always has this kind of not happy look to him. I know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him the nod as a fellow walker. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was mentioning, this was the third part. Tune into part one on Johnny's channel where we walk from Young and Bloor to Danforth and Broadview. Correct. And then Action Kid took over for part two where we went from Broadview and Danforth through Greektown, ending at Greenwood. And then I took over from there taking us eastward all the way here to Danforth and Main Street. Stay tuned, I'll put a link to their two videos in my video, so you can watch them all, one after the other. <laughs> and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that way you won't miss any of my videos. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And you can also find me on Instagram under K Continuum. And there's a super thanks button down below if you'd like to support the channel that way. And until next time, be sure to keep checking back because as always, we will continue. We will continue. That's right. We all three of us will continue. <laughs> <laughs>